If you by chance visit the local Costco to grab some essentials, then there are chances that you might bump into Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul, because these Breaking Bad stars have been giving out samples of their own Mezcal brand, Dos Hombres. Let's take a look inside Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul's tequila brand. Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul launched their tequila brand. Many celebrities, including the likes of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kylie Minogue, and Kendall Jenner have entered the drink market in recent years and now it's time for the Breaking Bad stars Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul to shine. The pair announced their off-screen collaboration on a new project on July 9th. They made this announcement weeks after they started giving hints about their possible reunion, so when they made this announcement, fans got excited and assumed that they were getting a reunion in the form of a Breaking Bad movie. However, they were disappointed when they found out that their expectations were wrong, but there was one thing that made them really happy. The star duo not only launched their tequila brand, but also decided to go to the local stores in Costco and hand it to their fans while having a fun little meet and greet. And fans were delighted to meet their stars. One fan shared the experience and wrote, Are we all just going to ignore those sweet Costco badges clipped to their shirts? Looking just like the rest of the common folk Costco employees. Costco makes no exceptions. Another one wrote, Seems like they hit a couple of different Costco's today. Was lucky enough to meet them and grab a bottle. Such cool guys. Isn't this wholesome? We will tell you more about their tequila brand in their own words. But before we move any further, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Now let's continue. How did they come up with this idea? Cranston and Paul first thought about launching a tequila brand back in 2016. Aaron Paul said during an interview, I always say Brian is the hardest worker in the room, but he's also the most immature person I've ever met in my life. I say that with the most love and respect I could possibly give. He quickly became one of my best friends in the world, my mentor on the show, my mentor in life. I feel blessed to join forces with him again and tackle another project. To which Brian Cranston said, I learned how much respect he had for me and how much he admired me. I didn't realize he wanted me to be the beauty of the operation. The hood ornament. Then Aaron Paul said, I'm the brain. Someone has to be the brain and someone has to be the beauty. And Brian does the beauty thing very well. Brian Cranston revealed, We made an agreement early on that we weren't going to be part of a vanity operation. We didn't want to sign our names onto whatever product, send it out, and you know, good luck. Aaron and I have been very blessed in our careers and our families. We have plenty of work in our first chosen field, so a project would only happen if we were both passionately in love with the mezcal, he added. And we've come to not only respect, but enjoy the spirits business. It's been fascinating. We've been like dry sponges soaking things up. Not just the vernacular, but the methodology to it. Knowing the on and off premise accounts, developing a sales force. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not thinking about how we can improve our service, get the message out there better, and increase brand awareness. What makes the drink special? The duo have also revealed what makes their drink special and why they fell in love with it. Paul has revealed there's two ingredients in our mezcal, mountain spring water and smoked agave. Our mezcal is artisanal, and you cannot have that on your label unless there's no modern machinery being used. The process is very old world, by hand. I had no idea how they made it before. So when we traveled to Waxaca, my mind was just blown wide open. It was a beautiful thing to witness. Meanwhile, Cranston says, that's what really opened our eyes, the intensive labor that it takes. The spirit is hundreds of years old, so people who created this had no electricity. To this day, we have no electricity at our Palenque distillery. We don't need it, and that's why it's so premium. It's handled with such care, he revealed. It takes six years for the agave plant to mature. Then after harvesting, it takes four days to smoke them so they get this nice pulpy sweetness. And then it goes into the Tajona, which is the rock pit where donkeys pull this rock wheel around and it mashes the agave. The fermentation process lasts 10 days, and then it takes at least two days to distill it. So we have such respect and honor for all our employees who put in those long hours and hard work. Whoa, that's one heck of a long process. Where does the drink come from? The twosome has revealed that their special mezcal comes from the village of San Luis de Rio. Paul revealed, We are blessed to meet the beautiful community of San Luis del Rio, and it was important to us to keep our hands raised and let the village know that we are a company that they can rely on. Just ask us and we will help you. And the first thing that the village asked for was a new water filtration center. They're getting their water from the mountain spring, but in order to drink it, this water needs to be filtered, he added. So we built a brand new state-of-the-art water filtration plant. 
To be honest, one of the proudest moments in my life was to watch our distiller Gregorio Velasco walking to the christening of this plant, next to the priest that is blessing this operation. They're being followed by the entire village and everyone's dressed up and excited. We handed over the keys and it was just such a beautiful thing to see. You must give back. Every company should. That's it for today. That was everything about Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul's new tequila brand that they themselves have shared. And by the looks of it, the future of the brand looks bright.